Are you wondering what your summer business plans should be or trying to come up with a schedule that is going to work for you to have summer fun and grow your business? In this video, I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing in summer of 2022. If you're new here, my name is Anita. I'm a video marketing and social media strategist, and I help you create content that converts. I want to invite you to join my free Facebook group, Video Marketing for Entrepreneurs where we dive into exactly what's going to grow your business and it's a wonderful community for you. And while you're scrolling down to the description to join that group, I want to invite you to subscribe if you like content that's going to help you grow your business and hit the like button if you like summer. All right, in this video, I, it's going to have a little bit of a different feel. I'm just going to kind of candidly talk to you about summer. So grab your cup of coffee and let's kind of sit together and chat about summer. To tell you what my summer looks like during the year, um, my husband's actually a teacher, and so he works full time. Um, I actually homeschool my oldest, who is five and a half, and lead a homeschool group in my local area. And then, of course, I run a business and also keep a house. Um, and if you have kids, you know that despite your best efforts, um, I feel like uh, you clean, and while you're cleaning one spot, there. Um, creating a mess in another spot. So that continually keeps me on my toes just because of the ages of my children. So during the year, it feels very kind of busy, especially as my business has grown a lot. And so I'm doing a couple of things this summer to really help me. Number one, I am really calling this the summer of systems. And um, what that means to me is that I'm really kind of going through my business and figuring out what systems would really benefit my business. So I started my business five years ago, and of course, I've developed some systems that have been really helpful, but I really want to go through my business kind of with a fine tooth comb and really figure out how can I best really create structure and systems in my business because everybody that I listen to that has a seven-figure business says that you need structure and system. So I trust them. I'm going to listen to them. And I'm really working on creating some of that in my business and areas that I don't have it. And in areas that I do, I'm really evaluating based on where I want to go. Is this a good system or do I need to shift what I'm doing? Thing number two that I'm doing this summer to really kind of set my business up for success is I'm asking myself really important questions. So to give you an example of a question that I'm asking is what can I do this summer that is going to help me in the weeks to come and in this next year? And that's produced some different things that I can do in my business related to ways to really streamline what I'm doing. Again, that comes back to that system idea and also is helping me really think about where I want to go and what it's going to take to get there. Thing number three that I'm doing this summer is really growing my vision of what's possible. And it's allowing me to do a little bit of research and have conversations with business owners who are experts in what it is that they do and really kind of navigating what it is that perhaps I want to start implementing in my business. See, at this point, I have built a multiple six-figure business. And as I continue to grow, I know that that's going to require different steps because what got me here is not going to get me there. And so at this point, I'm really allowing myself to be open and investigate what is going to help my business grow. And here's the thing. I have no concern that my business is going to grow because I'm committed to growth. I'm going to continue to take the steps to implement what I need to implement to continue to be consistent. And so I know my business is going to grow, but I always want to be open to really learning from those who have already done what it is that I want to do and figure out how do I apply that to my business. Number four of what I'm doing this summer is, of course, really related to the first thing that I shared, which is about systems, but 
particularly it's really creating a schedule that works for my business and some of what that involves is really figuring out how I can have a summer where I get to do all of the things that I want to do, where I can have fun with my family, where I can enjoy time with my husband, where I can work on homeschooling. My son, um, we kind of do year round homeschooling. And part of the reason that we do that is it's really helpful that my husband is home in the summer and can be with the one-year-old. Um, if you've ever tried to homeschool the two kids and have a younger one, um, inevitably when you sit down and you're trying to accomplish something and get the five-year-old focused, the one-year-old decides he's gonna climb the piano or go in the bathroom or get into something. Um, and that's just normal one-year-old behavior. Um, so it's just super helpful to have another set of eyes. And number five of what I'm doing in my business this summer is I am going to be running a challenge coming up and I'm not going to give too much information about it in this video, but I do want you to um, be watching social media and this channel for information on what that looks like. If you're somebody that's looking to use video in your business, I think it's going to be something that you're interested in. I would love to hear what your summer plans are for your business. What are you working on? Now, if you're watching this and still wondering, is video best for my business? I want you to watch the video I'm putting on this screen where I interviewed Rachel Peterson and we talked about what video has done for her business. And if you're not aware, she runs two seven figure businesses and video has been the game changer for her, but she dives into tips that are going to help you as well as a little bit more about that. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.